Spencer, a one-all draw with Maidenhead United to finish pre-season. What have you learnt today? We learnt that we, were, we came up against a very, very physical National League side that had won every single pre-season game and only conceded one goal. And I thought we stood up to it pretty well. Uh, I think it was probably a fair result performance-wise. Most importantly, with no injuries. We only had four subs today. We had a, a lot of issues. And as I said, I think we stood up very, very well to a very, very good team, which is a great workout before the season proper starts. It was very, very tough. A big, strong side that uh, play a certain way and they caused us a lot of problems. I have to say, I thought the first half was very even. Um, I think you've probably seen the save of the season by Craig Ross in the first 10 minutes. And then we make a mistake and they hit the underside of the bar. Um, so. N nothing in the first half for my, you know, I thought it was, it was very even, um, a real physical battle. Second half, I thought Maidenhead started, you know, right on the front foot. First 10 minutes, we were under the cosh, couldn't get out of our penalty box. That box uh, we're, we're quite poor and, you know, we were, again, Jack hasn't had a shot to say, but we're, we're under the cosh a bit and we then get a wonderful equaliser. Uh, and then we have a 10 minute spell and, you know, uh, Ollie Robinson, it's come flashing at him, but what a great chance that was. So. Uh, you know, and then it got a little bit basketballish um, attack at end, 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 and you know, Jack's made one great save and made one save in the game. So I think a draw is probably about right. But obviously, don't care. It's pre-season, but no injuries or no more injuries, and a really good challenge for us against a side that I'm sure will go very, very well. We're very grateful to everyone at Maidenhead. Obviously, I've got a long, long-term relationship with with Dev. So you know, a really good challenge for us, which. I wouldn't say we came through it perfectly, but we learnt that there won't be many teams at our level that are as physical and direct and strong and some really talented players. And, uh, you know, it was it was um, a good afternoon's workout. And you gave a first start to new signing Richard Chin. Have you pulled that rabbit out of the hat? <laughs> it's, it's been a lot of work. He's, he's, he's a player that I, I was after on loan last year, but he turns down. Um, he's uh, very analytical of the size, the way they play. He's been at National League clubs for most of pre-season, so he's, he's, he's fully fit. And he wants he wanted to be higher. And, you know, so many clubs came in for him. And, you know, he came down here. I spent a long time with him. And we've been talking to him and showing him videos the way we want to play. And, you know, he, for him, it's, it's not about money um, because we can't compete with most of the clubs. It's about the best opportunity for him to, A, play very well for us and have a good season. But... You know, no, make no mistake, he wants to be back in good level of EF, EFL. He's he's played a lot of games for Charlton, so you know, I had to keep really working at it. There were lots of people helping me as well, um, outside sources that you know I've got relationships with, and um, I'm really, really pleased that we got over loan. I think you saw there, particularly in the first half, some great glimpses. What a talent he is! He can play up front wide, which is where he played on loan at Bath. He can play right back, he can play number eight, which is where he originally was. He, he can play multiple positions, but you know when you see the players we've got in, Reggie, who I thought had a really good game today, except for a really poor penalty decision where he's dived in. Um, and uh, Sam Smart, who was ill today, he was due to get 45, but he, he was ill. And then Ricky, of course, and then Joe Haig, who's nearly back to fitness, hopefully he's training this week, and then Richard Chin. You know, we've got an abundance of talent there, and it's really important because, you know, you need to be able to rotate it, and with the five sub rule this year and you know really thrilled to get him over the line because he's he, he's one of the very best players in this division I'm sure of it and um, we know there's a little bit of a, a risk there because of the injury situation he's had there's no doubt about that um, but fingers crossed we can get him on the turf a lot and then I know we've got a fantastic player and you saw some absolutely wonderful things uh, in the first half second half he tired a little bit which is understandable but uh, I said we only had four subs so we left him on longer than we, we really wanted to and we didn't see any trialists today. Have you got an update on the players that we've seen over pre-season? Yeah, obviously Pruti uh, couldn't uh, do any signings. Uh, didn't want to do any signings until August. That's a contractual thing with previous clubs. So that's obviously been done and announced. Um, Hish was due to be here. Um, I've not offered him a deal yet because I need to see the Hish of old. Uh, I need to know he can be fully fit. We, we love Hish. And he announced he was... Uh, playing for somebody else today in the National League, a full-time opportunity, which I said, go for it, you know, uh, you know, if that's what happens. So he's playing there, I don't know where, but he was playing there. Uh, David Bramang, we got 70 minutes for, for a Step 3 club on Tuesday and wanted again to get another 70. We really feel he's had a long-term injury. He needs a lot of minutes. Um, so that's the way that that should go. But 
as far as the strikers go, you've got Mason who got through 90 today, and I think he's fabulous. Um, and then you've got Millers who, who, who was a massive part of that fantastic run after Christmas all the way to the end of the season. So you've got two strikers there the way we're playing. We've got goals coming from everywhere. And obviously, if we pick up injuries, then we'll have to go into the market. But ultimately, the strikers tend to be the most expensive and we just don't have the money to do that. There's a couple of loans we looked at, unfortunately, one of which is now injured for at least two months. So that was pretty close to being done, but it's clearly now on the back burner. And there's another we're looking at. But you know we're very happy with where we are we need a lot of luck of course with the injuries we've got a lot of niggles at the moment um, a lot of people weren't available today for one reason or another but you know we, we've you know we've we've got to get on with it and um, Bradshaw was only fit to play 45 today so we, it was always planned he would come off at half time as well so you know it's 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 tough at the moment but a lot of clubs are getting that it's been a hard pre-season hot pre-season uh, and in a lot of ways I'm really glad that it's over and we can get down to the real business next week Yep, so that's pre-season over for another year. How prepared do you feel for Saturday's trip to Chippenham? We always want to be more prepared. Uh, uh, you know, we, we've got two minor injuries in Joe Haig um, and obviously Ben, who's probably another month. Uh, we're, we're coxing Manny Odaliki along. We don't want to rush him through. We're building up those minutes as we go, which we always knew about. Um, we've got a lot of niggles, we, we, we've got some issues. I, I do look at the view that we're only playing once in the first week, so yes, we've got a massive starting game next week, but then we don't play for another week, so we've got to be careful. Um, we do have, as I said, a lot of little niggles and bits and pieces going on, but look, we all just want to get going. Um, Chippenham is a really tough place to go. Um, quite frankly, my record there is abysmal. I've only been there a couple of times, but you know they play wonderful football and the pitch I've seen pictures of is, is great so we're all excited you know opening day is what it is uh, exciting would be nice to be at home for once but that's not to be but you know we know that Chippenham are a very very good side they've had a, the mixed bundle pre-season a bit like us in results which I think is probably what we all really want um, but it counts for nothing you know I think this season very much in our division there'll be that phrase of small margins will come out so much little moments little moments of, of real quality or bad decisions um, from from players and ultimately you know we can't wait to get going so um, hope a lot of our fans can get there and um, all really looking forward to it and then of course what a great home game two weeks today at home to you know Torquay so uh, fantastic start to it at last it's over we'll have two good sessions this week and um, look forward to chipping them next Saturday. And just finally, obviously we came so close to the playoffs last season. What are your aims for this season? Just, I, I, I don't just look at the next game. That would be rubbish. I look at the next sort of two or three. Um, obviously with players like Pruti suspended um, and the injuries and niggles we've got. But I, I, this season is, it's there's the obvious favourites, the obvious favourites and uh, there's some you know fabulous clubs in this division, some really exciting players, some, some great managers uh, you know we're batting much against our average but we're just looking forward to it, I've just got to look at those first couple of games um, Yeah, it's such a dangerous thing you know with the greatest respect I'm sure Havant and Dartford as examples last year weren't sitting at this time of the season and thinking what happened to them it's such a tough division um, we're delighted to be in it, we're excited to be in it, we're a, a team and the club on the up, or well, we certainly were at the end of last season. We want to force that home. We want to keep progressing. We want the club to continue to grow. We've got fabulous supporters and, and volunteers. And we've got some great players as well. And we can play some really exciting football. It's going to be that small margins, I'm sure. Um, certainly not going to be won or lost in the first couple of games. But we just can't wait to get going. Brilliant. Thanks, Spencer. And good luck for the opener next Saturday. Thanks a lot, Dom. <laughs>